It's, it's absolutely essential that we recognize that the standard for election integrity is in-person voting on election day. There is a real concern uh, that, that there was unprecedented irregularity uh, in that 2020 election. Look, our democratic republic depends on people having confidence that their vote counts, that uh, outside influences aren't influencing. There are election integrity bills working their way through the legislature. Certainly we need to, uh, among other things, ban this practice of outside groups influencing our elections with their financial contributions, ban Zuckerbucks. But we need to do other things enact fo photo voter ID, paper ballots, uh, ban ballot harvesting and drop boxes, and really make absolutely sure that we do everything we can to encourage in-person voting on Election Day, which is the gold standard for uh, election integrity. I think the last couple of years have been devastating uh, for our economy, for really for the workforce, for uh, for really the incentive of people to work. I, I think between all the COVID shutdowns uh, and all the stay-at-home orders, uh, folks folks left the workforce. Uh, they left the workforce, and then they were given checks to stay home and not work. Government policy has been counterproductive uh, to workers and to our economy just from the very beginning of the COVID pandemic. Inflation affects us all in, in a very big way. It affects it affects my business, it affects my employees, uh, the, you know, even though we have given them you know, raises, very generous raises, inflation is eating up uh, that purchasing power uh, faster than we can raise their salaries. And I think that inflation is a, is a product of many misguided government policies. Of course, there is the Biden war on affordable energy, uh, ending, ending federal drilling leases, uh, ending the P Keystone Pipeline. Uh, there's the government policy of essentially printing money, very loose monetary policy. And then of course there's the very inflationary uh, spending, just very reckless spending in the trillions of dollars over the last couple of years, allegedly in response to COVID-19, but unfortunately very much part of the Biden administration's socialist um, uh, big government agenda. As Americans, it's easy to take our individual liberty for granted, but if we don't elect the right people to preserve and safeguard those liberties, we could go down the path of many countries that have just gradually lost their individual freedom and liberty, the freedom to live your life and to take care of your family the way you see fit, the freedom to speak and to worship as you see fit, um, because there are too many forces that really want to take away those freedoms from us.